Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video, and today, today, we're going over the logs for Godzilla Waka and Rainbow Mothra. Both are the brand new units for the month of October of 2023. These are the logs, and you know, I make a video like this every single month, you guys. If you haven't been watching the channel, there's tons of these. If you have been watching the channel and you're still sitting through this, I'm sorry, but we're here again, and I'll give you the rundown. When you are opening your expeditions, there is a little text box that appears by the world map section. You go to your expeditions menu, there's a little text box on the top of the screen. As you progress the maps, text entries will appear, and you are able to see what monster is in your box. Now, it's not going to work for, you know, every single monster in the box. It's just going to give you the logs for the highest rarity monster going from left to right. Really simple stuff. So say Burning Godzilla is the highest rarity monster. It'll be his logs. Really easy to follow. The link to this chart will be in the description. The Discord and I have been working on it for over, what, over two years now. So kind of crazy. There's a key to, you know, help you follow along. But we have every single entry for every single kaiju in this game. So I will not waste your guys' time. We will get into it and I will read you out the logs for Waka Godzilla and Rainbow Mothra. So you know in your little text section on your expedition screen, if you see anything that resembles these logs, you know what monster you have. So, first things first. Zoom in, please. My mouse is broken. Bear with me. Zooming in, for Waka Godzilla, we get the text that it says, uh, it starts, uh, We have discovered colossal footprints stamped firmly into the ground. A thorough search will be conducted in the hopes of locating more. Goes on to say, Footprints stretch onwards. We will use them as our guide, while we keep an ever-watchful eye on our surroundings. Next would be, A thundering roar rang out from up ahead. The footprints appear to be leading us straight to the source. This is a very common uh, block of text. A lot of monsters have this block of text okay but that goes into this in addition to footprints there are signs of a thick heavy tail being dragged across the ground behind them that is godzilla that is an indicator that you are getting a godzilla i believe the only other monster that's not godzilla that has that is mecha is one of the mecha godzillas is the uh 1990s mecha godzilla so we'll follow that we'll come right down oh and gamera by the way gamera has it too Come all the way, we'll follow this all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Oh, it wasn't the Mecha Godzilla. It is this Mecha Godzilla and the 90s Godzilla. So all the way at the end, Waka Godzilla. If if you have them in your map, your map will then read, A familiar silhouette has appeared in the ocean. It seems certain of its destination. Perhaps it is in search of something. Considering the monster's route, it is likely it is likely it is seeking a place to replenish its energy. Immortal cells must demand an incalculable amount of of energy if you have these two logs in your map that is waka godzilla he's the only one with these two entries however he shares let me zoom out he shares this entry this entry this entry and this entry with everyone in this section here so for waka godzilla you're just looking at the final the final two entries of the chart now for Rainbow Mothra, we get into some territory uh, kind of akin to uh, Leo. So for Rainbow Mothra, if we zoom in here, we get a dark figure blocked out the sun above us for a mere moment before flying off into the distance. We resolve to hurry after it. Comes into, as we continued our pursuit, we heard a booming roar from the direction where the figure had flown. Now you're going to follow this line right here, all the way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Keep going. Shoots down. Shoots across. Bam, into here. Along with the noise, I can sense the presence of something gigantic. No other characters in the game have this other than the bug-type characters. All the characters that are insect or insect-adjacent have that log. Okay? Cool. So the presence of something gigantic. Awesome. That will then go into this one right here, Rainbow Mothra. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's get a little enhancement there. A magnificent ocean stretches out before me. A mysterious structure is visible in the distance. I received a report of the sea parting. I rushed to the site, but found no abnormality upon my arrival. Was it all a dream? Above us soars a large monster that came from the, di the direction of the structure in the ocean. Its colorful wings shimmer in the sunlight. 
that is Rainbow Mothra. These three logs are unique to Rainbow Mothra. The rest is shared with other flyers and some of the bugs. Uh, you know, and a good point, Discord pointed out, maybe it was Chef, I don't remember. Rainbow Mothra kind of acting a little bit like Moses in this one, so that's kind of sick. Uh, but yeah, Part in the Seas doesn't do that in multiplayer, uh, you know, in, the, in your arena battles, but it is what it is. But yes, yeah, so those are the two logs. If you want to look at any of the other characters' logs uh, here, I have them all on the channel. Maybe I should make a playlist. Maybe I should just make a playlist for all these. I do them once a month. We'll probably have like a robust playlist for it. Um, but regardless, this will be in the description of the video. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something. Uh, I accidentally ended the video early on accident, but there really was nothing else to say. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.